What's up guys, welcome back to Big Body and Bach. Today I'm going to be reacting to Demon Slayer episode 14. Uh, so last episode we got the wrap up between Tanjo versus the Demon House. Uh, he was able to take out that last demon, the drum demon, and everybody was able to get out of the house. Uh, we left off the episode with um, Tanjo about to fight the boarhead guy. Uh, the boarhead guy was attacking Zenetsu for protecting the box. Both him and Zenetsu were able to know what was inside the box. I think Zenetsu, because of his ears, I'm, I don't remember exactly how the boarhead guy know. I think he could sense it, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, the boarhead guy was just stomping on Zenetsu, and Zenetsu wasn't fighting back. I'm mad respect for Zenetsu for protecting that box, even though he knew it was a demon. But he just trusted Tanjiro so much because Tanjiro was so kind and just good-natured that he wanted to hear Tanjiro's response before doing anything. And also that demon can't do anything to them anyway because of sunlight, so... It's not like they need to be afraid of it right now. They can wait for Tanjiro to come out of the house and explain himself. So mad respect for Zenetsu for that. Um, but yeah, like I said, we left off with Tanjiro about to fight the boarhead guy, and I'm excited. I'm ready to see what this boarhead guy can do. I don't think they're going to go all out. It'll probably just be like a little sparring match, um, but I'm hyped anyway. But yeah, with that, let's get into the episode. All right, let's go. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh shit, he broke ribs! Damn! Oh! Yo! Bro, Tanjiro punched the fuck out of him. Oh, okay. Yo, he's mad. Yo, pissed off Tanjiro's scary. Can't, that guy can't even laugh straight. Oh? Yo, alright, let's go. Oh shit, yo. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Bro, this guy's style. Yo, I like the way this guy fights. <laughs> Dude, he has broken ribs and he's moving like this. Well, both of them, actually. Yo. This choreography is fantastic. Oh, like a boar? Oh, <laughs> yo, yo, I like this guy. What is he doing? Oh, hell no. Yo, that, that's too much. That's a little too flexible, bro. Alright, Tanjiro. Oh. oh, it's over. Wow, he's still standing. Tondro's knocked out demons with that headbutt. Alright, the mask's off. Let's see. No, no way. That guy's body doesn't look like a girl's. Oh, he's got like a feminine face. Oh, so that's why he wears the boar's head. It's for intimidation. Dude, he took a Tondro headbutt. Alright. Inosuke. So he's about to pass out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tanjiro gave him a concussion. Yep. Headbutted the hell out of him. How long was he out? Bro, come on, Zenetsu. Alright, come on, Inosuke, help out. The heck? Bro, come on. Yo, is Tanjiro about to reverse psychology, this guy? Ah, uh, he is. Alright, smart. Yep. What the f- 
Oh my god, he's trading his head. Bro, you're gonna have like two brain cells left by the time you get your head as hard as Tanjiro's. Oh, is this how he joins the squad? Yep, it looks like this will be the squad. Thank you, Tanjiro. Knock his ass out. What the? Mysteria. They're like demon rep demon rep uh, demon repellent. Okay. <laughs> Bro. All right, I like Anosuke. I think he's gonna be like my new favorite character. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> is that his name he was trying to pronounce? <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna like their dynamic. Bro, this bird is so damn annoying. Yes, somebody speaking sense, thank you! Eat the bird! <laughs> Bro, these guys have like no people skills. Yo, that food looks good. Yo, that shrimp tempura? That looks good. <laughs> what, is he trying to egg town Juran or something? Yeah, he's trying to egg him on. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, I like this episode. Severe. <laughs> Damn. Yo, Tanjiro punched the fuck out of him. Broke four of Anosuke's ribs. And gave him that nod on his head. Yo, I like this squad already. Alright, Wisteria. Uh. Huh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, that's right, he also self-taught, he said beast breathing in the last episode, or episode before. Yo, so this guy just showed up to the final selection to say like, let me test my strength and said, uh, and then he was the first one to get there and then went down the mountain at the end. Yo, Inosuke is nasty. I really want to see him go all out, like against a demon. Oh, what's in the box? Yeah, I gain a lot more respect for Zenitsu. Makes me put up with his antics a little bit more. Oh, is this when they get introduced to Nezuko? Yo, Zenetsu is a little... He's a little too much, man. He's starting to get on my nerves again. Nah, he's gonna like Nezuko. Stars. Yep. He's gonna like her. Yep. <laughs> Inosuke's gotta have like five concussions. What the? Yo, wait, what? Why is Zenetsu about to turn up? Oh my god. Wrong idea, bro. 
Yo, that was a good episode. Alright guys, I really like that episode. So, to start off the episode, we got the fight between Inosuke and Tanjiro. A little hand-to-hand. -hand. I really love Inosuke's fighting style. I thought that fighting style was so cool, and their fight was choreographed so well, in my opinion. Especially when um, Inosuke did that flip around Tanjiro's head, like that triple flip. I thought that was so epic. Uh, it just makes me want to see Inosuke go all out against the demon now even more so I think Inosuke is my favorite character right now at the moment I loved his fighting style his personality was funny and yeah I just want to like see and know more about his character um, but yeah so that was like the first part of the episode and we also got a little bit more into his personality uh, he was raised in the mountains um, he doesn't know how to read or write so he's kind of just like a guy who likes to fight basically like Goku he just reminds me of Goku just the demon slayer version of him um, and now it looks like he's gonna be part of the squad. It looks like uh, him and Tanjiro kind of bonded over it. And I guess a little bit of Zenetsu too, even though um, Inosuke kind of kicked the shit out of Zenetsu. I think they'll all kind of like bond over that moment in the demon house and what happened with that. So I think that's pretty cool. And I really like the squad's dynamic. I think they like interact well and their characters like bounce off of each other well. Everything's just really well done and entertaining when like they're around each other. So hopefully it continues like that throughout the rest of the series because I really like their dynamic right now. Um, but yeah, they got introduced and then we got introduced to the Wisteria house with the Wisteria flower. It looks like it's demon repellent. Um, and now that I'm talking about it, I wonder how Nezuko can go in the Wisteria house. Because uh, they went to the Wisteria house at the end right there, um, which is the flower that apparently repels demons. So how is Nezuko able to go in the house? Uh, this is just like making me think more and more now because like is Nezuko more like a special demon now? She doesn't eat humans as we already know, she sleeps. Now it looks like she ha doesn't get bothered by the Wisteria flower. Um, unless I'm missing something, the Wisteria house that they're at maybe doesn't have flowers but it had the crest on it so I'm assuming that it has flowers so um, I'd have to go back and check that so uh, don't roast me with that but uh, if there are flowers there I wonder what, how she can like survive it. Um, yeah, so then we learned a little bit more about the Wisteria family and what that crest means. So it looks like the, somebody in the Wisteria family was saved by a Demon Slayer, and now they like to pay back and give thanks by housing all these Demon Slayers for free. I think that's pretty cool, and I think that's probably something we'll see in the future when the squad needs to rest up or after like a big fight, they'll look for a Wisteria family crest so that they can go and rest up. Um, but yeah, we learned more about them, and then we, the squad bonded more while they were in the house. Um, and then we also saw the reaction by, for Inosuke and Zenetsu when they got introduced to Nezuko. <laughs> Inosuke looked like he just didn't care, he just passed out. Um, Zenetsu's reaction was pretty funny, but I think it was kind of expected based on what we know of his character so far. Looks like he's going to be infatuated with Nezuko. <laughs> he was attacking Tanjiro at the end there because uh, he thought that Tanjiro was um, and Nezuko were like boyfriend girlfriend and they obviously were not in a relationship like that's his sister. So Zenetsu just over overreacted like he usually does. So when he calms down, I'll be interested to see what he thinks. Uh, of Tanjiro carrying his sister. He probably won't care. He'll probably just end up loving Nezuko. Uh, Nosuke didn't look like he cares, so it looks like they're all gonna be on good terms now, and uh, I'm excited to see how the rest of their dynamic interacts throughout the story. Um, but yeah, that was a pretty good episode. I enjoyed it a lot, but that's gonna do it for me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, if you could drop a like and put a comment what you thought of the episode down below, that'd be great. Um, and if you could subscribe, we really appreciate that as well. Um, but yeah, with that, catch you in the next one. Peace.